The world universe literally translates as combined into one whole. It's a description which contains everything, literally everything. If something, anything exists, then it is automatically considered part of the whole and thus a part of the universe. So ipso facto, it is logically impossible for something to exist outside of the universe. Our thinking is limited by the four-dimensional world we perceive. That does not, however, prevent us from having a bit of fun with the idea. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to my channel and leaves their commands. Put on a spacesuit. We are going on an exciting flight for adventure. In this video, you will find out if the universe has a shell and what is hidden behind it. What is the virtual universe, the whole truth about the theory of multiverses and why is our universe growing? I personally enjoy playing with the idea that universe is akin to a singularity with an event horizon. We are in it and we can't get out of it. And presumably so far, nothing can get into it, or we could see some pretty strange anomalies. It may be that any given universe is a unique and virtual equation that upon instantiation becomes an expanding space-time envelope. One could also look at what is expressed as bounded by the characteristics of that virtual equation. The equation then defines the limits of what can be expressed. It provides a boundary and of course that boundary is impermeable by nature of the dependency between what is expressible with the characteristics that are instantiated at t equals zero. In this regard, there may be an infinite number of possible universes that are expressible and they would be bound to their particular virtual set of characteristics. Instantiation is in a sense just a means of revealing the latent forms that are within a particular virtual universe. It's a fun idea to play with. A wee bit of wool together when you have nothing better to do on a quiet night under the stars or in front of a fireplace on a cold winter's night. Of course, it's now 93 billion light years across, the outer Mars galaxies are receding from us at an ever increasing rate, a bit like blowing up a balloon, I guess. And if the amount of air in the balloon exceeds the amount that the balloon can handle, it will explode and all that air will quickly dissipate into the outside, where it vanishes forever. Is there, I wonder, an outer crust enclosing the universe, be it observable or not? What a problem with the idea that space somehow needs to be created in order for it to be filled, as would be required for the outermost galaxies. But then we come to this anomaly of curved space in the same way that the Earth's surface is spherical and we would end up walking around it in circles as if it's not possible to move away from the surface of the universe, assuming that such a thing exists. I am of the opinion that like Brexit means Brexit, infinity means what it says, extending in all directions for an infinity which surely means there is plenty of space for other universes. The trouble is the further we look out, the further back in time we are looking. So where is everything right now, that's what I want to know. According to Jamie Sanchez, the outermost galaxies are 14 point billion light years from us, so if it has taken that long for the light to reach us, they must now be 29 billion light years away right now as we speak. It all feels like a surreal dream to be honest. I can no longer make head nor tail of it. Einstein said in his theory of relativity that for one object there was no space or time. For two objects you could lay down equally length measuring rods and calculate the space between them. That being said, if there is something beyond what we can see, that would still be a part of our universe. If there is nothing, then we could call it a void. So there is no matter, that is no atoms, and because of that there is no time also. Some believe there can be multiple universes called as multiverse. Imagine that the universe as we see it end to end is just a drop in the cosmic ocean that there is more space beyond our field of vision, more stars, more galaxies, more of everything, perhaps countless billions of light years further than we will ever be able to see. And while the unobservable universe is large, there are still countless other universes like it, some bigger and older, some smaller and younger, stretching across vast expanses of space-time. And while these universes are expanding inevitably and rapidly, the space-time that contains them is expanding even faster. 
pushing them farther apart, ensuring that no pair of universes will ever meet. Sounds like science fiction. This is the scientific idea of the multiverse. But if the science turns out to be correct, then it will not just be a reliable idea. It will be an inevitable sequence of fundamental laws. The accepted guess is that it goes on forever, but we don't know because we can only see so far. There is no sign of an edge, and no one knows what an edge might be like. However, we don't know. There are big and solved physics questions about the universe. We know a lot about what it does locally, but we don't have the top-down picture. Yes, the universe has an edge, and outside of it there is nothing, not even space. This does not prevent the universe from growing all the time by the initiation of new galaxies and the implementation of life on new planets. This is a continuous process. Space necessary for expansion is contained in two space reservoirs, and one above and one below paradise. Do you believe the universe has an outside? Does it have a boundary? Write in the comments what do you think. Are you dizzy from this adventure? Now you can take off your spacesuits and subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, to keep up to date with events from the world of science and space.